statement i will request mr tarek bhuya rafi bhuya uh, jun uh, he is the general secretary uh, for uh, japan bangladesh chamber of commerce and industry so uh, uh, so uh, uh, jun bhai please uh, say your points so from the jbcc perspective i think the most important thing is you know what is the relationship between bangladesh and japan uh, the business uh, at this moment um, we were um, you know i i think that we are actually in a situation that um, japan and bangladesh relationship is uh, uh, the business relationship in is in such a shape that we we can do extremely good business uh, in the next few years uh, because of the you know uh, uh, population pyramid the population dividend that uh, mao zaman bhai has talked about uh, so japan actually uh, you know really needs to go um, china plus 1 and they are actually going to different countries so everything was going extremely well uh, till you know last year uh, we we had that event and uh, which actually made uh, the japanese business a little bit slower but uh, to give you the good news uh, i had the opportunity to go and speak in a seminar organized by jetro just last week it was on 24th of february and uh, more than 160 people uh, the japanese people came and they were actually uh, all of them were showing quite a lot of interest in bangladesh uh, though they had a little bit of a, um, you know uh, thought about the uh, safety situation in bangladesh but we could actually tell them what exactly is going on what our government has done and all those so i feel that uh, a very good time is coming where a lot of different uh, japanese investments will be coming to bangladesh and um, hopefully you know that that really means that we have a very positive thing uh, in the whole business perspective now to talk about it uh, if you go to japan you know um, we had the opportunity to go to japan uh, through a uh, company called uh, you know the data soft japan um, where i'm also representing as a director uh, we go to japan every two months every three months um, and we see what is exactly is going on in japan uh, the it market in japan could only be penetrated by two countries so far that we have seen one is uh, china the other one is vietnam so china um, you know some of the speakers have alluded to it Uh, because of the language uh, language is the main barrier to do business with japan even the chinese uh, even the indian companies are struggling not many uh, indian companies have done extremely well in japan uh, chinese companies have because of the chinese character which is very similar to japanese character so they can actually understand just by looking at the uh, the writings and the other one is vietnam uh, which inada san has pointed out vietnam government has actually you know they are all the policies are so friendly towards uh, japan uh, that they are actually you know teaching japanese as a second language and um, in universities also they are doing that um, if you know we have to go ahead and win the japanese market we have to do something with the language it is so important uh, you know I, i myself my mother is from japan so i can speak in japanese and i can see the difference when i speak to a japanese person in japanese Uh, how close they feel and how actually they can open up um, so to win japan we have to do something with the language and also the cross cultural uh, we we need to understand how they do business because uh, just by knowing the language is also not good enough you have to understand the culture how you have to um, go ahead and what they think um, what is you know the value of deadline to them Uh, deadline uh, and you know what what deadline means what quality means um rajin bhai has talked about quality uh, deadline and all those um, so those are extremely important points now um very positively i feel that you know um, our new bida chairman uh, who is extremely dynamic he has already given us uh, the uh, you know budget for this um, it fair which is going to happen in may I would want all the companies who are interested to go to Japan should be trying to attend uh, this um, uh, IT week in Japan and you have to be very patient Japanese market you know you will have to uh, if you go to a US market or some other market you may get a um, business you know on that trip or the next trip or something like that in Japan you have to be a little bit more patient you have to really know that you have to spend time in knowing the language or getting the right bridge engineers if you do not have the right bridge engineers you cannot do any uh, business in japan and definitely uh, mao bai has pointed out that you cannot go with a product that you already have in bangladesh 
Uh, Japanese market is a completely different market. You cannot just go and think that, okay, your ERP system will go ahead and work there. Uh, you have to go there with a very specific focus that, uh, and you have to learn what exactly is going on in Japan to do very good business in Japan. So uh, I think, you know, uh, with these points, I would like to conclude, but please, um, I would want all of you to go to, you know, uh, whoever is interested to go to uh, Japan IT Week. And also, we need to do something very fruitful there. We need to have good matchmaking sessions there. And we should invite them to come to, you know, sessions like this in Bangladesh. So if we can actually arrange some kind of a, uh, IT, you know, mm, some kind of a back-to-back -back program so that we go there, they come here, only then we will get uh, some good business. Like, you know, Framji has come, Sekai Lab has come from uh, one of those meetings that we had. And they came and visited Bangladesh and they invested. So I would want uh, you know, us to actually think about uh, some points like that and uh, take action so that more Japanese investment come to Bangladesh and also we can go and get more business in Japan. Thank you so much.